Welcome to today's Gospel reading and reflection by Kristen's Crosses. If you would like to support our ministry, please like and share this episode and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can visit our About page on our channel to learn about other ways to support our ministry. Thank you for being a part of our prayer family. Today's Gospel reading is from Mark chapter 11, verses 27 through 33. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus and his disciples returned once more to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple area, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders approached him and said to him, By what authority are you doing these things? Or who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I shall ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Was John's baptism of heavenly or of human origin? Answer me. They discussed this among themselves and said, If we say of heavenly origin, he will say, Then why did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin? They feared the crowd, for they all thought John really was a prophet. So they said to Jesus in reply, We do not know. Then Jesus said to them, Neither shall I tell you by what authority I do these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's Gospel Reflection Today's Gospel takes place after Jesus had caused a big uproar in the temple at Jerusalem, the likes of which had not been seen for a very long time. Jesus had overturned the money changers' tables and driven out the animals. Of course, anyone else would have landed in prison, but this was Jesus, and his hour had not yet come. Still, the chief priests and the scribes are looking for an explanation, or perhaps better, an excuse to accuse Jesus. And of course, he shrewdly answers their inquiry with a question that they can't answer because they're afraid of revealing their insincerity in front of the crowds. This insincerity on their part offended Jesus. And of course, he's not going to speak to them plainly because their purpose was just to twist his words. Jesus could have called them out for their insincerity, and they knew that. And that troubled them because they feared the truth that would expose them. So as we contemplate this gospel passage for ourselves today, we can reflect on our own relationship with God. Do we come to him with an open heart, or are we holding something back? Are we hanging on to our sins, or Are we truly seeking his guidance and his will with an open heart? God already knows the question before we ask it, and so why not pose it without holding back and just allow his infinite wisdom and love to respond to us? And so today, let's pray that the Holy Spirit will grant us the grace to be receptive and humble, just like children in the presence of a loving God, as we deepen our relationship with him and seek to live in accordance with his will. 